in order to understand Tristan musically. The prelude helps us, because it reveals Wagner's most important thoughts. It begins with the celli, which played a so-called suffering motif. Already the first three notes of the suffering motif are characteristics of unhappiness. The first leap to the long note is the minor sixth, the classical ominous interval, and the next leap is a minor second, the highest possible dissonance. Already in the third measure, the oboes play the lunging motif, the beginning of which coincides with the end of the suffering motif. At this famous meeting of the two motifs, the legendary Tristan Chort is heard, a chord with a strange floating dissonance that expresses neither pain nor joy, but represents a kind of indefinite search for a solution. One minute later, we encounter a related motif with a famous concise seventh note leap which we will encounter again when Tristan and Isolde later look deeply into each other's eyes. Which is why it has been given a name Gaze Motif. You will hear it three times in a row in this passage. Isolde is on a ship. Tristan does not dignify her with a glance, and she hears the sailors mocking her with a song. She is tormented by deep black thoughts. When she expresses her wish to die, the death motive can be heard. <laughs> Isolde begins the narrative of Tristan's wounding with this motif. It is a chromatically falling sequence of notes, which is traditionally a symbol of death. It is played repeatedly in the orchestra in this passage. Isolde tells us that she felt sorry for him. We hear both the lounging motif and the failing Tristan motif, which together create a poignant effect. But then thoughts wander back to her humiliation, and the motif of Isindure Anger emerges in the low strings. <laughs> The prelude to the second act announces the next scene. It is night and we are in front of Isolde's chamber. She is expecting a visit from Tristan. After a painfully dissonant opening chord, busy eighth note movements sound in the violence after a few measures, soon leading to a new important motif in the flutes that becomes the basis of all subsequent love motifs, the love call motif. Here played at a fast tempo.
Gradually, the desire becomes more urgent, and we hear in the violins and woodwinds the bliss motive, which is related to the love call motive in its downward, urgent character. The so-called Nachtgesang, the night invocation, begins with the most delicate chords of the muted strings and with an endless melody in Tristan's voice, the dreamlike night invocation motive. Accompanied by heavy brass, Tristan speaks of dying together with Isolde and we hear the Liebestod motif, the love-death motif for the first time. 